In this video, I'm going to show you what's inside a television studio. Hi and welcome or welcome back to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. As always, stick around to the end of the video for a bonus tip. Alright, so some of you may have noticed that I've been absent from YouTube for a minute and the reason is I got a new job. <laughs> I'm now teaching full-time television and film production classes at Mount St. Mary College in New York, which I love. I was formerly part-time professor and now I'm full-time. And I took a little time away from the tube to hit the ground running at the new job. But now that things are under control at work, I'd like to show you guys and gals what I've been up to by giving you a little tour of the TV studio that I teach in. As you might know, live studio television production is a little different than feature filmmaking. Some things are similar, like needing a script, cameras, and mics, and some things are different, like needing a live switcher, grid lights, and teleprompter. So let's dive in. Here's a little tour of the TV studio at my college, and here's what everything does. Two things to mention before we get inside. First, I'm shooting the studio footage on the Nikon Z6. We have two of them here at the college, so I thought I'd mix it up a bit and give my Canons a rest. And secondly, I should mention that we're in the process of upgrading our studio with new grid lights, a new switcher, cameras, etc. So some stuff is slightly dated, but you'll get the general idea. All right, so when you come in here, we have the teleprompter computer here right by the door. This computer feeds the program script to all three cameras in our studio. The writer will write the script, load it into this software, and the host can then read the script as he or she looks into the camera while recording. Keeping eye contact with the camera is super important for your host in order to maintain that connection with the audience. So most television studios will have a teleprompter system so that the host isn't looking to the side at cue cards or down at an iPad. Next, when you walk in, we have two edit bays running Adobe Creative Cloud. We use these to modify graphics, make any edits that are needed after the taping, or simply transfer the media coming out of the switcher. Next, we enter the visual slash technical room. Most studios have a visual room and an audio room, and we're no exception. The visual room is where the technical director and the director sit during a live production, basically directing the show. We also have a lighting board, which is currently only programmed to control one section of lights, but has the capacity to do much more once we finish upgrading our lights. Next in here is the ever important TriCaster switcher. So all three cameras are connected to the TriCaster and in it is where we key the backgrounds, overlay chirons, switch from one camera to the other and roll in pre-produced packages. It's really the heart of the production equipment. Maybe at some point I'll do a video on just the TriCaster. Leave me a comment below if that's something you'd be interested in seeing. So to the right of the TriCaster are monitors for each camera as well as the cards that the show is recorded to. To the left of the visual technical room is the audio room. So we have a few options when it comes to miking our talent. We can either use a lavalier mic, here's the transmitter, and the receiver is here. The receiver is then connected to the audio board where the audio tech monitors and adjusts levels. And the signal is then sent to the TriCaster where it's married to the video. Or we can also use these shotgun mics and connect them via XLR connection here in the wall, which also goes to the board, and then is sent to the TriCaster to be married to the video. So that's the audio room. Someone sits in there and makes sure everything is mixed properly, or as close to perfect as possible, as the show is being recorded. And here we have our set slash riser. As you can see, we're currently set up to shoot a host presenting from a completely virtual set, so everything's green for the key. And last but not least, we've got our three TV cameras. These studio cameras never come off the tripods. Typically in a TV studio, they just stay put. These ones shoot in 1080p, but will be upgraded to 4K eventually as part of our upgrade plan. The studio camera controls are on the handles here. Zooming happens down here. Also, we have a jib over there, which is in need of some counterweights and a remote, but it should be back in business soon. And we've got our studio monitor here, where the producer, floor director, crew can all see what's being broadcast. 
And that's where I'll stop for now. I hope some of you out there who have never been in a TV studio learned something. And maybe I'll make a behind the scenes during a shoot in here so you can all see it in action. But for now, you know what everything does. All right, let's do that tip. Interested in learning more about TV studio production? In 1969, the FCC created a rule saying that the public should be granted access to television production too, for free. They said, quote, pursuant to section 611 of the Communications Act, local franchising authorities may require cable operators to set aside channels for public, educational, or governmental use. And a network of public access TV stations sprung up across the country, where you can sign up and help produce live television without having a TV or film production degree. Do an online search to find the cable access station closest to you. Because access to TV studio production shouldn't just be for those who can afford it. It should be for everyone. All right, as always, if you found any of this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted. And I will catch you next time.